A crystal glass has a natural resonance. This is the frequency at which it most efficiently turns sound waves into physical movement. Play a glass its own resonant frequency, but loud, and it may move so much that it explodes. They're using lead crystal, as it's the most efficient at transforming sound into motion. This lowest peak here is the, is the fundamental frequency, and uh, I'm reading off here 562 hertz, so uh, that's where we should start. With the computer primed to belt out a pure 562 hertz tone, it's myth-busting time. So this is Mythbuster, Mythbuster's wine glass breaking test number one, simply playing a tone through the speaker to the glass. That's it. I'm really sorry. I need to actually plug that speaker into something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, details, details. <laughs> Even the Meyer Mythbuster can make mistakes. Let's try that again. nothing but in opera it's not over till the fat lady sings and Rogers had a harmonious idea when you listen to the glass it has many harmonics above the fundamental frequency and so maybe it's not the fundamental that breaks it maybe we need to produce one of those harmonics up to now Rogers just been playing the fundamental frequency but there are also many other equally spaced smaller peaks the harmonics so this time, the computer's set to blast out the full harmonic sound, an exact match of the glass. Adam also throws a straw into the mix to help see if the glass is moving at all. Adam's straw dances. This glass really is vibrating. Just check out the high speed. The glass is as wobbly as jello, but not wobbly enough to implode. Back for his encore. Davey, man, dude! That is a first on television. A Mythbusters exclusive, 556 hertz, 105 decibels, and 20 attempts makes for a world first. History's been made, and it's been captured on high speed, so there's really no need to try this one at home. Well, that's it. We 